Hey girls, how's it going today? I look has been requested. So here we go. I have Pup, Bubba, Cole, and uh, Gilded. So I am going to start eyeshadow everything brush, dip into Pup, and I'm just gonna get a nice matted base layer on my lid. This first layer really smooths out my lid surface and is gonna get my eyelid all ready to go for these beautiful brown tones I'm gonna put on them. So basically, priming my eye right now. Now this first color is kind of very, very close to my skin tone. So that's kind of how I like to start here. Okay, so I am ready to dip into Bubba now. So same into my brush. Bubba's just a little bit more orangey, I would say. I'm gonna start here at my crease and I'm just gonna go up with it. So now over here, like if I draw a line, I'm gonna hit Bubba like closer to the inside and then drag it out. So just blending away. You can always add more. Same thing, other side. Just windshield wiper method back and forth and then start dragging it up. So again, kind of keeping it in that line. This is a really, really beautiful, like, autumn -y color. Perfect with so many different colors. It looks good with browns. It looks good with pinks. I've worn it with purples. I just started wearing some greens. Now I'm going to drag it down below my eye a little bit. Lower lid. Okay, next I am going to go in to, I already forget what it was, Gilded. I'm going to go in with Gilded with my finger. It's kind of like a, I would say a more purpley brown. So, in with my finger, I just rub it back and forth and get some of that product on there. I'm going to go outer third of my eye. Actually, kind of. Ends up being kind of outer half. And then just tap in until you get the desired pigment. So you can layer up these eyeshadows. It's amazing. If you want it more metallic y, just dip in there again. Okay, next I am going to go back to my eyeshadow everything brush and just kind of feather out that front edge. You don't want to like see seams in your eyeshadow. You just want them to look like they're coming together very nicely. So just, it just takes a little bit of blending. But I do want that metallic -y look to stay, so I'm not going to overblend. I'm going to let the eyeshadow do what it's supposed to do. Add a smidge more to the side. 
Ooh, this is turning out pretty. Okay, now I am going to go in with my multitasker brush. I'm gonna go into coal. And I am going to line my upper lid with coal, especially focusing on that outer corner. And then I'm gonna bring some of that coal down my lower lash line. Now I prefer more of the like smudgy eye look. So that is why I often go in with the multitasker and line my eyes with eyeshadows or our eyeliner is amazing if you like that look. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to my other eye. Start in the outside corner. Get a little bit thicker out there. And then drag it in. Bring it down below. Now you can see some of this fallout that I have here. The nice part about our cream makeup line is that I can just clean it up with a little bit of highlight. Um, okay, back to our coal matte eyeshadow. This is the other end of the multitasker brush. I love this flat brush. I love to smudge with it and then just drag it up. Actually, I might even just tap in a little bit more. This just kind of like smokes out your look a little bit more. So I am just smudging that lined eye. And just kind of using this flat end of the multitasker brush to drag up. And now just smudge out the bottom. Just a smidge. Let me see. I think I am going to dip into ginger just real quick and drag this side up a smidge higher. You always wanna make sure that your sides are pigmented equally. So I absolutely love Bubba peeking out the top and then this kind of purpley metallic-y brown in ginger and then the lighter inside corner oh i love it it's so beautiful all right thank you guys so much i hope you learned something